Hey, Larry D here. Out in the Pigeon River Country State Forest for a couple days and trying out a new piece of gear. It's the Thermarest Slacker Hammock House. I've used the Slacker hammocks before, really like them. Uh, it's become my favorite hammock. Now the hammock house, what you get here is, and I can't open it up all the way, the wind's terrible today. You have your fly. Now it's full coverage in the sense that it's in the back, down, and you can come all the way out to the front. I'm stuck with the tree right here. So it did work. I ended up using a bungee cord to hold it up there. And you have a very nice bug net that closes up and it attaches with bungees at the each end here the entire package comes with tree straps the straps for the bug net the fly attaches to the straps for the bug net rigid i mean we're talking tight really nicely made uh also have the thermarest self-inflating pad that is specifically made for the hammock so it's cut on a strange differential that it fits the hammock it was very comfortable I mean it was comfortable as far as the padding and the warmth I should have had something underneath me between me and the uh, pad because I ended up getting a bit of moisture up had I had a, a wool blanket or a, a fleece, even a lightweight fleece blanket or something covering it, that would have really helped. But either way, it was a comfortable sleep. It comes, like I say, with the tree straps. The only problem with the tree straps that I've noticed, and I, I said this before when I tested the regular slacker hammock with the straps, they must be made for like the giant sequoia redwoods or something. They're enormous. So it gets a little difficult sometimes when you have trees like the rest of the country has. I'm in northern Michigan. We got these pines here. Uh, what? A foot across maybe. And it's difficult to get the strap wrapped around the tree enough that uh, you can shorten it up. I mean, obviously I did it. Also, the regular uh, slacker hammock needed about 10 feet or so between trees. This thing needs 12 to 14 feet, I think it said. Uh, well, there's a little tag here. I'm sorry, 12 to 16 feet. So, you know, I had started to put it up on two trees like I was used to, and they weren't far enough apart. So, because it is a little bit bigger, it will support 400 pounds is what it's rated at, which is kind of nice. Uh, but a nice little hammock deal. I'll get the, uh, put the price here, but it's not really lightweight. It's three and a half pounds or so without this, without the pad. Now, normally, I just throw my ridge rest in here, and I'm always comfortable on that. I've slept down to 28 degrees with just my ridge rest underneath me, and that, that's always been fine. But, yeah, not a bad hammock. Now, to the things I didn't like, there are no pockets in the middle area of the hammock here. They're all up at the very top. I'm trying to take my glasses off last night and get them in here. And I had other things in here that I was afraid I was going to scratch my glasses. I didn't have my case with me. I should have just not been lazy, gotten out, got my uh, case out of the pack, and uh, put my glasses in there. But yeah, there, there's only pockets and they're good sized pockets. I mean, I've got my power pack in one. Ah, if I don't drop it down here. I had my LED light hooked up to it. 
no problem fitting it in. But again, they're at the ends. I wish there was something in the dead center. Also, I wish there was a way, and I'll make a way to do it, to attach this a little bit higher up. That would have uh, opened it up just a little bit more. Not super necessary, though. Again, it, it's an amply cut hammock. And uh, the fly, it also has a tie-off point and reinforced dead center. So you could lift her up. Again, nice little setup. Now, I have to check the pricing on it. I'm not sure what it is. But very, very comfortable. And I want to say right off, I was sent this quite a while ago actually by uh, the people at uh, Thermarest to try it out and as I was with the slacker hammock I'm very happy with this this will probably become my go-to hammock I will probably replace the tree straps with something a little lighter and a little shorter that would save me a pound at least because these things are, they're, they're huge. I mean, they're, they're huge. I went around, I'm around a tree. Like I say, it's about a foot across. And I could probably have four feet, three feet of strap I could adjust out yet. They're just enormous, so. I will probably go to uh, some other straps I have that are a bit shorter and better suited for where I'm at. But other than that, nice hammock. Uh, consider it. I mean, if you, even if you're just looking for a regular old hammock, the slackers, are they're really nice hammocks. I really like them. I like the way they're cut. They're very, very comfortable. Uh, I could sleep on my side in this. I was laying on my side this morning. Uh, when the frogs and birds began to start screaming at six. And, uh, but really satisfied with it. Again, hack, uh, slacker, not hacker slimmick. Need more coffee. Slacker hammock by thermal rest. Let me try that again. Hey, thanks for watching. And once again, it's the uh, Slacker Hammock by Thermarest. This is the hammock house. It comes complete except for the pad, which I got separately. I'll put prices and everything underneath here. And uh, has the uh, fly. It has uh, bug netting. Zips up, opens up way wide with the bug net. And uh, very, very nice. I really like it. A bit heavy. The tree straps, there's something I have to be worked up with. Uh, they're a little bit long. But other than that, you know, and the, the weight of the uh, straps and that. But when you figure, if I cut a pound from it with uh, different straps, then I'll be down around two pounds, two and a half. That I can live with. But it's a very comfortable hammock. Very nice uh, fly. Very nice. And uh, well worth the money. So, okay, that's it. Larry D out here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you get something out of it. And uh, as always, get out there and have some fun in the outdoors, and be safe.